Hey everybody, uh, Dave's here, and we have, uh, first, second, don't know what you want to call this, but we have a prop BG here, uh, just for those, uh, couple days I went and prop, I recorded a whole bunch of things, uh, this was done on my new build before I fixed the problem I was having with my resolution, so that's why it's cut off at the bottom, I'm terribly sorry about that. But, as you see, I do my normal opening run here, and uh, I'm getting right into the action. This is uh, one of my later games in Prot, and if I remember correctly, I do quite well. Uh, I haven't rewatched this yet, so, you know, kind of like seen it together for the first time. Um, let's talk a little bit about protection as a, a spec in the 24 bracket. I, when I went protection, because I didn't want to play protection, but everyone was saying, go protection, go protection, it's much better. I went full strength protection. I didn't go any stamina, nothing, because I still wanted to just do crazy amounts of damage. And as you can see, I'm already hitting really hard. As uh, a protection paladin, my Avenger shields are hitting like a thousand per person, and that's really just some crazy stuff. But it, I was right in my thinking that protection was going to be so easy that it was no longer going to be fun. And that's kind of what happened. I played protection so much that I just kind of stopped wanting to play the 24 bracket because I wasn't finding any challenge at all. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. But I'm going to go back ret and see how it See if I get that lust to play back again. I hope I do, because it's a great bracket. But, that's okay. So, some of the differences between protection and retribution in the 24 bracket uh, is, one, you have more than three abilities. That's nice. Two, you uh, have a lot more survivability. It's crazy. I didn't think just by gaining a shield you would gain that much, but, I mean, you don't just gain a shield. You gain a shield, you gain stamina from going protection over retribution, and uh, all in all, you gain a lot of survivability, so that's nice. Uh, but you still hit ridiculously hard. If you're new to the bracket... I, I still wouldn't suggest playing it, but you might want to try it out. It's really easy. So, what abilities do we have that are new to us? We have Holy Wrath and Avenger Shield. We still have Crusader Strike and the AoE one, but as you guys can see from my old right videos, I don't even have that on my bars because I never used it. I don't have a problem with Rogue, so I don't need to pull them out of stealth. And druids don't do any more damage coming out of stealth than in stealth than out of stealth. So I just don't have people, a reason to pull people out of stealth, really. Since you have to be hitting someone to use it anyway. But I threw that on my bars just in case. And I was doing some tanking and PvE for funsies. Um, but as you can see right there, I got two killing blows with one Avenger shield. That, that's why this is crazy, because they weren't ridiculously low health. No, they were sort of ish high. So, just with an Avenger Shield hitting both of them, it was able to get me two killing blows. And, so, let's get back to the abilities we gain. We have Avenger Shield and Holy Wrath. These are both AoE abilities that hit hard that we don't have in Retribution. We don't have a finisher, so that means all of our holy power gets spent on healing, us and our party members, which is really nice utility for the party and uh, super nice for you for living longer. Uh, it's one of the reasons I do well in this game, but uh, you can use all your holy power on healing yourself as Retribution as well, it, you can, it just, it's more useful done as damage. 
since you have uh, flash flight anyway. But, okay, so Holy Wrath, what it does is it hits uh, multiple targets and it's going to do stacking strength like I was. It was doing, for me, around 300 normals and 700 crits. Those were like the low normals and the high crits. Uh, but it's going to do somewhere in that range of damage. And as long as you're hitting less than like four people, it's going to do that to everyone. And then we have Avenger Shield. What does Avenger Shield do? Avenger Shield does so much for you. It not only lets you hit your target for upwards of a thousand damage, which is about half someone's health at this level, uh, upwards of a thousand damage and hit multiple targets at that, but also silence them and interrupt whatever they're casting? I'm sorry, but that just seems like it shouldn't even be usable in PvP. That's so messed up. That's just how I feel. So, I'm sorry to any of you who play Protection, but you're playing a cheap spec and it's not skillful. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, even if you're new anymore. Yeah, this is what I've decided. Uh, so, take that into consideration. I mean, obviously I'm not going to think any less of anyone who's going to run protection instead of ret, but still. It's not hard. And that guy's passing it to that druid, who I think is going to pass it to me, yeah. There we go. So, uh, that's my little thoughts on, uh, Avenger Shield. Um, obviously I wasn't going to use it because, I mean, obviously I was going to use it. I wasn't not going to, because it was too OP, but, uh, you see, sometimes in this BG, I fight other protection paladins, and now, to the good side of things, the happy half of the video. Uh, as you can see, I was fighting other protection paladins, and I won against them nine times out of ten. I would win that fight, soloing them. And so, I think that is, one, because they were either lower level, or two, because they were lesser players, or three, because they were not stacking pure strength. I think you have plenty of survivability as protection, stacking pure strength, and crit, and haste. I don't stack any defensive stats. That being said, uh, you might want to throw on like an AGM, because if you're going to be a protection paladin, you might as well do what I'm doing right here, which is flag carry as well, because they're good at that, because they're so heavy survivability. Um, and it also tends to make the class easier to play, uh, because you don't have to worry about holy power. You don't have to worry if you're stacked at your top of your holy power and you're now losing damage every time you crusader strike if you don't tempest verdict. You don't have to worry about uh, if you're going to die because you have the holy power sitting around. And Look, here's a protection paladin. This is ridiculously easy. One, he's an FTP. Two, he's poorly geared. Three, he's a poor player. Four, he's stacking stamina. I mean, that's just the facts of it. It's, and see, look, he's like, oh, I'm going to heal myself. And I'm like, no, you're not. Uh, so, you know, little brands there. I think that shaman you see right there that uh, I was playing with, I mean, I wasn't playing with, but I did a couple of BGs and he was in them. I think he's a P2P, a pay to play, and uh, I think he's a pay to play X19. So, you know. Uh, as you saw, as you guys saw right there, I did die, and that was about 6v1, it looked like to me. It took me a little bit of time to die, and I think I took out one player in that as well. But let's get back to that shaman. Why do I think he's pay to play? Because he looks exactly like some of my old shamans when I was 19 Twin King back in Burning Crusade. He was wearing the same shoulders. He was totally 19. Yeah. That's what I 
have to say there. But she's like this guy. I fight him several times in this PG, and it's obvious that he's a good twink. He's he knows what he's doing. He's been playing here for a while. He's free to play, and this is when people are like, "Oh, twenty fours, lame. You're just beating on twenties." Yes, that's true, but that guy, if I was Rhett, probably would have had me. Because he's the prot, and I couldn't compete with that. He had too much survivability, and he did too much damage. Uh, so, you know, that's something. Although, I think I am going to start playing just 20s and not 24s at all. For you guys. Uh, I I like the this Blood Elf combo. I uh, I was in a couple of BGs with them. They're running together, but I like them a lot. They work well together. They uh, they have good communication. Yeah. Uh, as you saw there, and you might have seen earlier in the video, that I am running with uh, two other paladins, Blondie and O. They are uh, friends of mine on Snaring Circle. Great server for twenty four twinking. Big community here. Uh, there's uh, 24 guilds. There's a channel that I made to unite all of the twinks. Uh, yeah. And so all the free to plays can join it. And then you can see who's in that channel. Every time someone logs on, and they're not on your friends list, but they're in that channel, you can see when they log on. And then you can whisper them. Or you can send out a message, and the free to plays can whisper you. So it makes like a. Uh, like an honorary member in the guild. So, just a tip for any... Oh, look! Look how fail I was right there. Did you guys see that? That was the failest shit ever. God, don't be a shitty player like I was just then. Whenever someone's running over that side, assume they're going to run off. Because you can always correct running to the side and jumping down when they jump down. But you can never correct running... them running to the side and you jumping down. Yeah. But, um, so that's a pro tip for any of you 24 twink guilds who want uh, 20s in your thing, because 20s are a big part of this bracket. Uh, yeah, I would definitely suggest Scenarian Circle for twinking at 24. Not other brackets, it's pretty much dead. There's a couple 70 twinks on here, there's a 70 twink who plays a 60, and then there's me, who plays 60s. That, that's it, for as far as 60s. Uh, there's, uh, like, five or six different um, 80s and 85s. So, a uh, reasonable place for drinking. And obviously I'm here, so if you're playing Alliance, uh, I'm pretty useful. I like to help other drinks out. What I like to do in game is twink, and I like to make all the twinks I play with really good. So I run people through dungeons, I run people through raids, I run myself through raids. I have the best twinks, I play with the best twinks. So, you know, it's a good place to be. This guy, oh my goodness, I did like five BGs with this uh, monk right here. Ah. Uh, he made me nearly go re-roll a monk. I thought he was just the coolest shit ever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely look him up, guys. Uh, his name was F-E-E-T, but the E's had accents over them. can't remember which way. Uh, you can, like, full screen the video and find out. He was a good uh, monk, though. Uh, uh, someone in our group had him on Real ID and... He was uh, apparently talking to us. Yeah. But uh, that's the other great thing about Scenarian Circle, is we have a lot of twinks, and all of our twinks know people from other servers. So I can get on basically any ta time during the day, and sometimes like 3 in the morning-ish, uh, and get in a full pre-made. Yeah. There's a lot of people on here. And so... And try and do that with your servers, guys. Nothing's saying that my server's better than your guys' server. 
you get, might just not have found the Twinks on your server yet. Hang out in the Gruel Bashi Arena. Hang out outside Stormwind. That's where the Twinks hang out. And find these people. Uh, one thing that would come with time and uh, knowing my spec better is how what the range is on Holy Wrath. Uh, as you guys might have noticed a couple times during the video, I uh, use Holy Wrath, but I didn't hit anything with it. It's just because I assumed the range is longer than it is, and it wasn't. Uh, getting back on that protection pile in there for a little bit, and making him run away. Uh, I know that I easily have this guy right here. I just need to get on him for a couple seconds, and he's dead. I was running with that druid. He's a great druid. Uh, he's in our 24 druid guild. And obviously, any of you guys who play on Scenarian Circle, uh, hit me up, and... I'll get you into our 24 Twin Guild. No problems. Uh, the game's just about over, though, guys. Um, I've stopped putting links down in the description. Uh, instead, they're just on our YouTube page. Uh, on the side, go click some. Then you can go follow us on Twitter and Facebook and uh, all these good things. And, yeah. Uh, look, but my Skype name's there. It's not a link. But feel free to add me on Skype and uh, add me on Real ID too. Uh, but have a great day, guys. I did go 18 and 1. Uh, pretty good score.